In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get more FPS in Roblox 2023 edition. But before we get into this video, my name is Just Sevo. Make sure to leave a like for more videos like this and subscribe and let's get into it. All right, so to unlock more FPS in Roblox, what you're going to first want to do is come over here to your windows and come down to the search bar. You're going to want to type in control panel and here it is. This should pop up, come to hardware and sound and then click on power options. You should get this little thing. You might have to take this uh, little arrow and then you should see high performance. Now, if it's on balanced or power saving, you don't want that because that will limit your frame rate. Your computer is not going to work as hard. So if you're on a laptop, it will take more energy. So your battery will die faster and you will have to charge it more often. But for me, I'm in a, de a dedicated desktop, so I will just press on high performance. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is come down to here and write settings. Open up your settings and you should have this little thing. Then you're going to want to come to system. After you come to system, come down to notifications and turn off your notifications. Notifications will take a lot of resources and windows and you don't want that because notifications for the most part are not useful. And here is all the apps I had with notifications and now none of them will be able to show any notifications, which will save a lot of processing power and will help Roblox unlock more FPS. The next thing you're going to want to do is come down here and you're going to want to type in run. And then you're going to want to type in the percent mark and then temp and then percent mark just like this press on enter and this should pop up these are temporary files that your computer saved up in its ram and what you're going to want to do is select all of them just like this you can also do Control a all of these you're going to right click and then you're going to do delete these are not important files right now and your computer can delete them very easily Anything that does not want to delete, you could do this for all current items and then click on skip. And here you go. I deleted 8000 items. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your recycle bin and then empty recycle bin just like this. And then it will say it will permanently delete everything. So make sure you don't have anything else that you don't want to delete. Click on yes. And here it is. I deleted all these items that were taking up storage and slowing down my computer. All right, so the next thing you can do to unlock more FPS in Roblox is come down to the taskbar, right click on it and press task manager. You should get the pop up like this, come down to startup and anything over here that says enabled, you wanna disable. So over here I have private internet access, which is my VPN that start, which always starts up whenever I turn on my computer and you would wanna disable anything that is not important. Some stuff is important and you don't wanna disable it, but some stuff you don't need and you can disable this takes a lot of processing power and runs in the background without you even knowing and slowing down your computer you don't want stuff like this so that's why i have a lot of my stuff over here uh disabled all right so the next thing you're going to want to do is open up your file explorer and then go to this pc after you get to this pc if you have only one drive you will only see one drive over here but i have two drives so you can just click on whatever drive you would like to do first press on properties okay when you get here click on disk cleanup then you're going to see this little thing and you're going to want to do recycling uh, recycling bin but we already cleaned that up so it won't really bother it and you can press on okay and continue with it i won't do it because obviously there's nothing for me to really clean up now in this drive i can go to properties i can do this cleanup and honestly i wouldn't touch anything whatever is checked is checked and then i would press on okay for me it's pretty clean so it doesn't really matter so the next thing you're going to want to do is go on settings again. So let's open the settings app, come down to personalization and click on it. And then you're going to look for background. For me, my windows is, isn't activated. So a lot of the features are locked, but for a lot of people it is activated. But what you're going to want to do is turn off transparency effects. Transparency effects will slow down your computer because it takes more processing power. So for you, you would want to turn it off if you're able to. Something else you can do in your personalization tab is turn off your slideshow. Over here, a background and then make sure it's on picture. Turn off any slideshow. It does take a lot of performance. And if you turn it off, you will see better performance in Roblox. So the next thing you're going to want to do is we're going to go on to system and we're going to come down to about. On about, we're going to want to click over here on advanced system settings. Click on that. This little pop up should should show up and then you're going to see this little thing. Come down to the advanced tab and then you're going to see performance. Click on settings and then over here you're going to see visual effects. Visual effects. You want to switch it to adjust for best performance. Mine is on let Windows choose what it wants. For me, it doesn't really make a big difference, but on a lot of older computers or, or the laptops or slower laptops, it does make a very big performance hit. And if you do 
best performance. It turns off a lot of these things. It will look a little worse, but it will really affect the performance. So you, after that, you're gonna click on adjust for best performance, click on apply, and then click on okay. So the last thing I'm gonna advise you to do is search up Roblox FPS Unlocker. And over here, you can go to the GitHub. Of course, I'm I'm not sponsored by these people. I have no affiliation and this is with your own risk. Come down to FPS Unlocker zip. Click on it, download the file, open the file and then click on extract all, extract all, extract it and then press on the app. There you go. The app is open and down here you can see Roblox FPS uh, Unlocker. And then over here you can do FPS cap and then you can limit it to whatever you would want. I would recommend something like 120 unless you have a better monitor. All right, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.